Welcome back, fam, to episode four of Outer Wilds on the Bronze Beard. That's right, guys. Thank you so much for enjoying this episode. We've got a lot of awesome feedback. We're currently live on Twitch just because I didn't have the opportunity to record it earlier. And why not? It was Sunday at the time of this recording. Hey, <laughs> you see you up here? We would love for you to come follow us on Twitch so we can get affiliate. I need 10 of you. Just 10. 10 people to follow so that I can reach affiliate status. And there's a lot of games and fun stuff that happens here on Twitch. Do it for Twitch the channel. children. But this video is not sponsored well, uh, by is sponsored. Twitch. Yeah, it is not... sponsored by this ad that we are currently going to read. It's that sponsored, I you know, by me being sponsored by someone else. And so that way I don't uh, end up getting eaten by loan sharks. All he has to do is read whatever they email us. So. Yeah. So, okay. So the ad today is this. This episode of the Bronze Beard is brought to you by the Agency of Kangaroos. Kangaroos, that's an easy word to say. That is definitely not planning to take over the world. The Agency of Kangaroos that is definitely not planning to take over the world has the following message for you. Implicate, verify, eradicate, end code. The agency that is definitely not planning to take over the world would like you to click the miscellaneous letters in the link in the description below. Huh. That wasn't what they and said. And thank you for the agency them. of the kangaroos that is definitely not planning to take over the world for sponsoring today's episode. And for definitely not planning to take over the world. Um, for those of you who are alive, you may feel free to click the random series of letters that the agency of agency kangaroos of kings that, that are definitely, definitely not, not planning take, to take, take over the world. world. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Outer Wilds. Last episode, we found ourselves lost in space. And by lost in space, I mean we definitely blew up in a giant fiery flame. But we were also sent off into God knows where. It's true. He so, we are trying to go back and try not to... Let's see what was updated. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, now he's back to being overwhelmed, you guys. What? Mm -hmm. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Quantum Shard. This tower, located in Brutal Hall's equator, has held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on the first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. That's what we saw. The Nomai noticed a strange rock shard that appeared to wander, but no one was watching. No one was watching. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going back. Are we going back to Brittle Hollow? Back to Brittle Hollow, because I bet that's a quantum shard. Because that's a shard, and that's you know, the only quantum. Finn wanted to know why everyone wanted to go back to Jakku, and... I'm wondering after that, let's go back and the you know what? I'm here for it. Let's go. Thank you for joining us for the ride, fam. Uh, place your bets in the comment section as to how you think he is going to die this time. Right now, I I think it's going to be suffocation this time. I'm betting on suffocation. Here we go. We got autopilot. Mm. We are going to try to go back to the Knowledge Center. We were originally going to go to the South Pole. Go away. Go away. Molten Lava Moon's going to... My butt. <laughs> I'm really worried about my butt. I'm really worried about my butt! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is where we were last time, so let's... Yeah. to it or on top of it or something. Yes! Didn't even destroy the ship that time. Oh, I can't tell you how tight my butt was clenched. <laughs> Ooh, was... I was almost right, but not for the reasons that I thought I was going to be right. <laughs> really pretty in the daylight. Hello, sir. Uh, right, so there's some writing on top of you. Excuse you. 
Thatch, Plume, Felix, and I have determined that this at atypical shard of rock is the reason objects on this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Thatch, the only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. An image of the moon's behavior and this grove's are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What is what if it isn't originally from this planet? <laughs> I like how that stopped from falling <laughs> while I read. It's like, oh, 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 hang on, you're reading. I'll, wait. I'll, I'll just I'll just wait here. Hypothesis. This plume shard or this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon, perhaps if it is even a small piece of the moon itself. It was a very considerate meteorite. Yeah. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, my friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. Mm. I've also heard the same signal. This shard produ produces calling out of Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. I suppose there are other shards like this one. Mm. There's a bright moon. Mm. So that guy, like, that was fairly that close was to my ship. That was pretty close to the ship. Would you chill out? All right, so I've already read that one. Is there... Yeah, turning on the flashlight was a smart move. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go down here. Yeah. Just like before. Going down these stairs... You know, what could possibly go wrong aside from what went wrong? Yeah, we're going to go down, apparently, not up. <laughs> up was a bad idea. Here, what's this one say? The Southern Observatory. You want me to what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is the better way to go. But I am. But taking what? the stairs gives you better exercise. We have no way to comment on this. I mean, you can comment on this in the comment section of the video. So. Oh, I don't want to mess with it. Oh, is this gonna. that bad? Is that bad? What if I... Um... <laughs> <laughs> so where... Mm, where... That just looks like it's gonna send me... No. <laughs> I need information. <laughs> Those things are all turned on, which is nice. <laughs> Probably gonna need to take some Excedrin after that one. <laughs> okay, we are going down. That is where we're going. It's me. Okay. Well, how about that? It, it look, oh, it's a black hole. <laughs> wow. I'm sure it's fine. Black hole. That's why the how black hole is. That, is. that explains a little bit. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. 
If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Ascending the stairs. What? Oh. My knowledge has been increased. <laughs> That's one knowledge point. Oh, oh, so. That is the point of that. I must rocket upwards. What is this for? Tell me things. Crossroads. Oh, so you can go to Crossroads. Ooh. I'm not going that way. So I must go that way. We'll start here. And then I... Oh, okay. Ow, my legs. That is like three square slabs of stone. It is futile. Let's go this way. Okay. Three minutes oh. of oxygen remaining. That's the black hole. <laughs> I don't Stay like how. Stay in the light. Stay inside. Unidentified signal nearby. Well, this was... that was deeply unpleasant. Made this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on. And not how I eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place is sure something. Looks like the Hanging City is north of from here. In east is the gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below. Which is good, since I uh, used up my supply screaming during the trip from down from the surface. We did as too. Soon as, as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. So I do need oxygen. Okay, so I need, I need to go down. Down, please. I understand. <laughs> I'm going down. But not down that way. Down, down this way. We're very particular in the direction that we mean when we say down. <laughs> you said down. Oh, it's right here. Praise God. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> got the brow? Wipe the sweat. <laughs> Oh, you launched. That's great. Good job, you. Wow, I guess that means I'll be out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. That always It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Ever since I was a an alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. 
How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it right. I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone that I'm out here. <laughs> Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been ga gagging, or ga gagging? Gaging. Gaging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just getting going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be, yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. What was it? Actually, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where do I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore? Um, not the black hole. Actually, that's very, I very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, that's the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city that's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also the big dome in the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if you, but if it's like the rest of the Nomai's structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. Me, I'm an archaeologist. That was really close. That was pretty close. Or, um, the archaeolo- The archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm the all timber hearth scot right now. Bruto Hollow's it, Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. This planet is the absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about Bruto Hollow's Nomai, I'm your Harthian. By the way. Or, um... I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so maybe I can help. Yeah, uh, thank you for the belated advice um, saying to go to the unidentified signal. That was good advice that we didn't see. But we did it. We just we received your thoughts. All right, we are filled, thankfully. What happened when you doze off? Oh. Big, that sounds wrong. Blow up soon! Where does this go? The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Let's go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I think that's going in the opposite direction. Oh, wait. So that goes to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, so that's what that was! <laughs> Knowledge and wisdom. There is not much to this planet. What is that random sound? There's a child. No, I'm recording. Go away with your weird sounding thing. I can't see it. Go away with the weird sounds. That's dope. <laughs> Alright. Okay, get. <laughs> I am afraid of this jump. This jump does not look <laughs> at all. Okay, so I'm we. I'm pretty sure most of this planet, like, wouldn't pass OSHA certification. So this is towards the city. the hanging city, eh? There's just chunks. Now it's the falling city. <laughs> Got him. Ian! Look at the chat! Point your signal scope to Ryback. I'll point it to him, but I already talked to him. Do I just need a... Hmm, he did fail. I'll go point it to... I'll go point it at... Oh, are you supposed to identify who's who? That's... 
Hey, look, there's another one of those dude keys up there. Maybe the real oh, so that's why this was, was the friends we made along the way. Exactly. And in this case, that's literally true. Fine, I'll go back. I think, I think Rebex is a friend. That black hole, though, is just... I don't think the black hole is a friend. Gaping boss. Rybeck. There, I did it. Thank you for that tip, because I actually just thought that the unidentified signal changed when you talked to them, not... Hey, my ship is still in there. That's pretty dope. That's good, because otherwise... Well... The floor is going to go out from underneath me, and I'm going to pee my pants. Ship hole breached! <laughs> oh. No, my ship is gone! Where'd it go? Where's my ship? Uh... Inside of the black hole and ripped to shreds. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. So you gotta get here like quick if you wanna go visit stuff. Cause there's no way you can make it over there. It's, it's shaking. <laughs> it's shaking. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous laughing. Your ship is much okay. farther away than you think. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, you, Dad, what you missed, me up. what you missed is that we definitely try, or we got, we went up instead of down. Gravity Crystal Workshop. Oh, cool. May I? And we ended up. We ended up definitely going uh, where we did. Not intent. So where is the floor? <laughs> floor. Thank you. <laughs> thank we you we definitely ended up really far away, and I thought I was gonna suffocate, but you couldn't see anything. I don't like the rumbling. Okay. Trees. comment I don't like that he just stares at it and is like all right cool. well, it's just a skeleton man I don't know what the big deal is a skeleton and a bristle cool read the journey here from the South Pole has been um, I'm going to say with heroin because of the um, all the meteors but hey at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there's some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside the building. The trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like there's any anything horrible. Just stairs leading down. I can't handle stairs after I get my supplies together. I'll follow the path to see what it is. I came from that direction. Oh, ghost things. Interesting. This is where we were. Oh. Lots of red things in the sky. Yeah. All right, so... So that we came from there, which is where they wanted us to go now. I don't think there's much. Is there nothing else here? No, please don't send me into oblivion. Thank you very much. Much here. Not that I can go back to my ship. I 
think you're supposed to find this first. Oh, we want to go to the South Pole. This way. That was the one. There's the new game. That's right. There's a lot less of this planet available. <laughs> it's true. Oh, is the music when we die? Where's the moon? Or the sun, I mean. Is it going to burn my feet first? Yes, it is going to burn my feet first. <laughs> that you do understand what that music means now. I think I'll roast a marshmallow. Now what better way to go out? Roast a marshmallow while a star roasts you. Oh, that was impressive. <laughs> Didn't even get to eat the marshmallow. Uh. There it is, my friends. Another episode in the books. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and for supporting our sponsors. We really appreciate it a lot. I think. You guys are wonderful. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share these with your friends. And I appreciate the subscription as always. Love you. Bye-bye. Peace out, fam.